All right, guys, today we will set up our micro bit to connect to our scratch. Uh. Set up our micro bit to connect to our scratch. First thing you need to do is you need to go to the scratch website. The link is typed in here, uh, scratch.mit.edu slash scratch, okay? Slash, slash scratch, okay? Please go to the link now, okay? Scratch MIT edu dot scratch. Okay, once you have arrived at the location, uh, I want you to scroll down and then I want you to check whether have you installed your scratch. Check whether have you installed your scratch. Uh, okay, how do you check that? Very simple. You can press here the start button and then type scratch. Okay, if you have installed, it will be you appear here scratch link. You click on it and then you will open your scratch link. If it's open, you should be able to see an icon that looks like this at the bottom of your screen, roughly here, this area here, somewhere in here. Okay, let me show you mine now. Can you see it here, mine? Okay, it's already active and it's already open. Make sure you have it installed or open. Okay, if it's not installed, click on this button here. Okay, I will show you what you're going to do. Click on it. Okay, click on it. And then when it open up to the website, click on uh, Malaysian English or whichever English you prefer. And then there is a button on the top right here. Uh, it should be get or install or whatever. It's different from mine. It must already installed. Click on it and then it will automatically install. Once you've installed everything, come back to this page and wait for the next step. Huh? If, you've, if you've got it installed, you may continue the video. If it's not installed, please pause your video now and make sure you got Scratch Link installed and open. Okay, so now I hope you have your Scratch Link already switched on. Okay, if not, please rewind, uh, please rewind the video and it, check that it's, is it installed and uh, check that it's already running. Okay, running. Uh, make sure it's running uh, uh, before you continue the next step. Uh, here, make sure it's running. Okay, here. Okay, all right. So if it's installed and running, I want you to go to the next step. Uh, the next step is I want you to download the hex file. Okay, download the hex file. Okay. All right, after you've downloaded it, I want you to open the zip file. It's here you can see downloads, scratch micro bit zip. Inside there, there will be a file called scratch micro bit, scratch micro bit dot hex. Okay, scratch micro bit dot hex. The next step you need to do is to pick up your micro bit, pick up your micro bit, get a cable plug in your micro bit into the USB cable and plug into your computer. Plug into your computer, okay? Once you plug it in, make sure it appears on the left side of your computer. You look at the menu here, you can see the word micro bit here. Can you see it, guys? This means that your micro bit is connected properly to your computer now with the USB port, okay? Once it's connected, confirm connected, I want you to right click on the hex file. Uh, sorry, you need to unzip this first, I'm sorry. Click extract all. Extract all and click extract. Okay, this, is, this, is, uh, this will uh, unzip the file, okay? Once you've extracted it, same thing will appear, okay? Right click on hex, send to, micro bit send to micro bit okay click on it and if you click on it it will copy the file into your micro bit okay copy the file into your micro bit all right once it's downloaded into your micro bit you should be able to see you should be able to see a five character a five character Five character word appear on your micro bit. Five character word appear on your micro bit. Okay, this is the name of your micro bit. Okay, if you've got it done good, you may continue the video. 
if you have not get this done yet, the five characters running on your microwave, please pause the video and retry the steps that I've shown. Rewind the video if you have to, to, to do the same steps again. Download the hex file, unzip the hex file, and then move the hex file into your microbit. Okay, once you have got it uh, plugged in, okay, plugged in ready, I want you to open up a normal Scratch website. Open a normal Scratch website, okay? And then I want you to come to the bottom here. Sorry, yeah, one step back. Uh, click on the bottom here, extension is called, okay? Click at the bottom left, extension, all right? Click on it. And then look for micro bit. Look for micro bit. Okay, click on micro bit. And once you've clicked it installed, if you search for your micro bit, if your micro bit has got the things installed properly and your scratch link is working, you should see a connect button. Okay, this name here is the same five characters as your micro bit scrolling across. Mine is called per tooth. Everyone got a unique name. Yours will be different. Okay. Click connect. And then once it's connected, I want you to click go to editor. Go to editor. Okay. Once we are here, we're going to do a very short program to make sure it's working. Uh. Make sure it's working. Uh. Green flag is clicked. Forever. Followed by go to microbe at the bottom here. Okay. Use the display block. Take three of the same thing. Okay, I want you to edit the heart shape, make the second one full solid. And the third one, I want you to make it into a baby heart shape, baby heart shape. Okay, and then once you've done, click on the green flag. And if you've done it correctly, you should see your micro bit blink like the one I have on my computer on my screen here okay if it's blinking well that means you've got it uh, installed and running properly already that's all for today's video we are getting ready to start our scratch class in the coming weeks so make sure you got everything tested and running before our actual class if you're still having problem just message sir in the whatsapp and i see what i can do for you thank you